Hey, it's Brandon, and I am here to introduce your November beer mailbox. And at the risk of sounding like a broken record, it's another great box. Uh, we had daylight savings this past weekend, so we figured we'd head out a little early and get some uh, very rare afternoon sun here in Copenhagen. Probably the last of the sun we'll see for the next four, maybe five months. So we're taking it, in, even though it is very cold. So the first beer we have is a uh, beer and project that's really close to our hearts at Mickler. Uh, this is Help Pale Ale, and uh, all proceeds from this go to the Danish Refugee Council, um, specifically programs that help build schools uh, and other things for mostly Syrian uh, refugee children. Uh, we did a bit of an update on the recipe this year, as well as uh, Keith did an update on the label. Looks super nice. Let's have a drink. It's nice you get uh, some really fresh hops on the nose along with some malt. Uh, it's see-through, not hazy this one, a bit of a straw color, so I'd say it's more of a classic pale ale. Mm. It's clean, uh, super fresh, very drinkable. Uh, this is a really nice beer for a really great cause. Uh, hope you enjoy. Next beer we have is a brand new beer. This is uh, People Pills, or Pills People, depending on how you read it. It's an organic German Pilsner. If you know anything about Mikkel, you know he loves his Pilsner, so you can expect to see uh, more Pilsners of different varieties coming from us. Uh, this is a limited run we did. It's 3.5% alcohol, so it's a bit lower than the usually around 5% we go with with a Pilsner, uh, German style. And if you notice, I'm uh, using last year's MBCC glass, just a reminder that pre-sale for next year's MBCC go on sale uh, November 1st. Uh, so make sure and sign up for the pre-sale because they sell very quickly. Uh, it's great. You get the, uh, the yeasty, bready, uh, lager smell. Oh, it's super clean, uh, bright. This is really nice, very drinkable. This would be a great, uh, great beer for after run beer if you're part of a Mickler Running Club chapter or just, you know, if you're sitting at home and want a beer and not get drunk, this is a great choice. Uh, I really like this. I'm definitely gonna have to add some to my fridge at home. Cheers. Next beer we have is uh, kind of an update on a classic uh, Mickler brew. Uh, this is 19, uh, but a, a New England style. So originally we had the 20, and I believe the story is people could vote on hop varieties. And then we made a beer using all 20 of those with the percentage of the hops in the brew based on the percentage of vote they received. Um, it had a really cool label where the colors corresponded to the percentage they got. Uh, so this is 19 instead of 20. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit darker color than I would expect, uh, but it's still opaque, got some haziness to it. It's a 6.9%. 6 6 it's nice. It's a, it's a bit on the sweet side, but you still get uh, some bitterness on the end. Not a ton because it's New England style, but a lot of fresh hops. Uh, I can't pinpoint one hop because there's 19, but it's a good combo. Really enjoyable beer. Next beer we have is a beer that we put out on a pretty regular basis, different versions for our friends in Sweden and our friends in Sweden, Brill. This is Schalek. This is Schalek 15, made for a fall winter of this year. Uh, it doesn't have the normal Keith art. It's got a really cool portrait on the front. Really a uh, light color to this. It's uh, 5 percent, so another easy drinking. Again, you get a lot of the uh, very floral hop notes on this one. Oh, it's really nice. Uh, a lot of citrus, very clean, very bright. Mm, this one might, this might be one of my favorite Charlex so far. Uh, I hope you agree. It's really, really nice. Okay, we have the first Christmas beer for the box, Hazy Holidays. And I know, let's get through Halloween before we start the Christmas stuff, but rather get this out fresh. This is a New England style American Pale Ale, 4.9%. It's got some really cool artwork from Keith uh, involving a drooling Santa. Doesn't get much better than that. And I can see through the bottle, it looks really uh, super hazy. Let's give it a shot. Similar color to the Charlock, maybe a bit uh, lighter. Really nice hoppy nose. Kind of reminds me actually of a, a brew day at Warpigs, uh, that smell that hits you when you walk in. Oh, it's super bright, really, really nice. Uh, this will definitely make for some nice uh, Christmases. Really good beer. 
Next we have Space Race. This is a gluten-free uh, hazy IPA, 6.7%. Uh, this has quickly become a uh, staff favorite at Mickler HQ. Uh, and the artwork is some of my favorite of the new Mickler stuff I've seen. Keith did a really nice job on this. Nice haze, a bit more uh, orange-yellow color. Really nice nose. It's really, really good. Uh, it's very uh, full uh, mouthfeel. I, if I didn't know it was gluten-free, I would never guess. I, I don't think you can taste a difference. Um, I think it's really important that we try to make beer accessible to people who might not be able to try it otherwise. And this is one way we can do that with our gluten-free beers. Uh, it's really good, really, really good. Cheers. We have a really special cool beer for you next. This is Spontan Passion Fruit. Uh, if you're not familiar with our Spontan series, it's a series of beers. I think we've done over 200 variants and they're all spontaneously fermented, uh, similar to Lambics from Piotlin, Belgium. Uh, and this is uh, with passion fruit. Pours clear, a little bit of head. Get a funk and some acidity on the nose with a lot of passion fruit. Oh, that's really good. The sweetness from the passion fruit and the uh, funkiness and acidity from the spontaneous base work really well and uh, counteract each other. Really nice balance of this. If you like passion fruit, this is definitely a beer you're really going to enjoy. And even if you don't, I hope you enjoy it. All right, we're going to move on to a couple dark beers we have for you, which is uh, very fitting for the season we're heading into, or seasons, depending on where you live. First one is Beer Geek Vanilla Maple Shake. Beer Geek is obviously our uh, most famous series of beer. All, uh, all stouts, um, mostly Imperial Oatmeal Stouts, brewed uh, by our friends at Lervig for us. Uh, so this is an Imperial Oatmeal Stout with coffee, vanilla, and maple syrup. Uh, sitting at 11.8%. As you would hope, it pours like oil. It's black. A lot of maple on the nose. A lot of maple. In coffee. Perfect winter warmer. Uh, it's, it's sweet from the maple, but it doesn't quite push into the pastry stout uh, arena. Um, I feel like it still has good balance. There's more going on than just sweetness, but you definitely get the maple. Uh, I, I really enjoy this beer. Uh, the, the coffee, it, everything just works in unison very well in this. Cheers. The last beer we have for you is another very special Mickler beer. Uh, beer we've been brewing for some years, usually do it once a year. Black. Uh, now in 375s. Uh, this is a 15% imperial stout. Uh, we make it with dark sugar, champagne yeast. This is a big hitter. Please don't drink this all by yourself. It's a good beer to share with a friend or five, depending on your evening. <laughs> Let's try it. Well, the name is apt. Uh, it's definitely black get a lot of uh, roasted malt aroma and some of that dark sugar. You definitely can feel some of the 15%. There's some booziness here, uh, but it is, uh, it is counteracted by the roasted malt a bit and some bitterness from the hops. It, it's, it's sweet, but not overly sweet um, and very smooth for 15%, very smooth. One thing I uh, forgot to mention, in the mail out included with the box, uh, it incorrectly says Spontan Blackberry uh, instead of the Spontan Passion Fruit. So just a heads up, it's, you're not getting Spontan Blackberry, but the Spontan Passion Fruit instead. It was a mix up and not enough time to reprint, but you still got an awesome beer. Honestly, I think I prefer the Passion Fruit, so everybody wins. Enjoy your box and have a great November.